on the underside of this tipper, there is actually a magnet. Let me make sure I get you in focus here. So if I take this little washer, stick it to the bottom, see? It sticks, so this is magnetic. This is critical for the reed switch to function properly. So let me refocus the camera here. Hopefully this will become a little bit clearer. So I popped this whole assembly off, and then I also popped this little black protective cover off. Underneath this black protective cover is a reed switch. And a reed switch is basically a normally open magnetic switch. So there's a little glass filament, and I think you can just see the two contacts hovering over one another. So when this bucket tips, this normally open circuit, this magnet will go over that normally open circuit. The magnet will pull those two contacts in contact with one another, therefore uh, temporarily closing the circuit, creating some resistance. That'll send a signal to the computer. And then based on the number of tips, that will indicate as to how much rain has fallen. One tip equals one one hundredth of an inch, if I'm not mistaken, right? One ten hundredths, I think that makes sense. So I've determined that this reed switch is faulty. The way I determined that, with the console on, I actually jumped out these two contacts. So I took my black jumper wire and I momentarily tapped on either side of this reed switch. And what happened as I was looking on the monitor, it was registering the tipping. Granted, there is a bit of a time delay, but I was able to confirm that we do in fact have a faulty reed switch. So the question is, what do you do? Well, this is pretty simple. This is just soldered on here. I purchased some replacement reed switches from Amazon. And the way I determined what size reed switch I needed, I simply took my caliper and I measured the width of the glass filament, matched that onto my search online, and I was able to locate a bunch of replacement reed switches. Now, some of these do have a black protective cover on that on them, but I'm gonna use uh, just the regular glass filament ones because we have this little plastic cover. These reed switches are apparently pretty sensitive so it's pretty common for them to fail. So we have some replacement ones in the future, but at this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this old reed switch and we'll solder on the new one. Okay, red wire's off. Okay, here's the other side. Okay, that's soldered on there. Okay, looks good. Next thing to do is to give this a test. So let's reinstall this black protective cover first. Very carefully. Okay, that black cover is back on. Now let's reinstall the metering cups. Okay. All right, so I have the rainwater metering cups reinstalled and I have alligator clips connected to my volt meter leads. I have the volt meter set to continuity and that means when this volt meter detects that the circuit is closed, that magnet goes over that reed switch, two contacts hit, it will make a noise, a steady beeping sound when the circuit is closed like that. And I believe it also shows resistance. So let's give this a few test tips. That's exactly how that should be working. Cup fills up with water, tips, momentarily closes the circuit, closing that reed switch. And then as the magnet goes away from that reed switch, 
the circuit is open once more. Now something you may have to do, I had to play around with these adjustment screws a little bit because these control how far away that magnet sits away from that reed switch. Initially when I replaced this reed switch, uh, I actually loosened these up because I thought that this was bolted down to this lower case, but in fact these are just to adjust as to how far the, the magnet sits away from the reed switch. So if you find that your circuit is continuously uh, closed, you may have to turn these screws clockwise, therefore allowing a greater distance between the magnet and that reed switch. For 10 bucks, I think we fixed this though. All right, so I have the batteries back in both consoles. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tip these rain metering buckets a few times, and we're gonna look at the daily rainfall. Uh, notice that I have tipped it twice, indicating that we have, in theory, received two one-hundredths of an inch of rain. So I know there's a little bit of time delay, so let's give it one tip, two tips. So this should go up to four in a moment here. Fingers crossed. There we go. Beautiful. Let's do it another two times. One, two. It should go to point zero six. Beautiful.